Hey guys, welcome back. I forgot to do an intro. So, lucky for the people that hate me talking for five minutes. We're straight into the action here. I'm just launching the launch pad module for the extra planetary war factory we're going to build. And in this episode, uh, yeah, we launch this and the rocket factory, like the rocket parts warehouse, which accompanies this. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say, so I get back to in-game commentary after this is deployed and things like that. And I send over four of you guys, I think there's one in this, I'm not sure. Either way you'll see anyway, I oh, know there's two guys though. So yeah, enjoy and I guess I'll be speaking again soon.
All right, guys, that was uh, ridiculously hard. Although it it wasn't, as you saw, we got down okay. But yeah, I just I don't know. Been a while since I've had to do anything like that. But we're down safe, and this looks pretty cool. The scenery in the dark. I'm glad that had the lights showing because that made it a bit easier. I still didn't know where the ground was though. But anyway, we're down, we're cool. And we've got a nice view of the solar system and galaxy and beyond, I guess. Where and some nice glimmering rocks. So, let's get Zachary out because he's our birthday boy. So let's go down, put your lights on, see if this works. I couldn't get back up. Yeah, the ladder's broken, but lucky we can just RCS. I forgot how slow. Oh, I can't even get down there. Alright, that sucks. So you sod the ladders. We just float. But yeah, I'm getting them out for a reason, by the way. Hopefully, the flags stayed as I said it. I do have a normal Infidel Gaming flag, but hopefully, I changed the mission flag for this one. Hey, there you go. Uh, sex birthday. There you go, Zachary. Something special for you. That'll always be here as well. I think. There we go. I should have put the date on, but I forgot the date. It's the second, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, there you go, Zach. I thought I'd do something for you. Hope you like it. Yeah, you can see it good in the dark as well. So yeah, I hope you have a good birthday. And actually looks pretty cool. So let's get you back safe in your lander can here. Oops. <laughs> I say safe and then you do a backflip, but you're gonna land it. Look at that. Skill. <laughs> oh my god, you're Yeah, you can tell I haven't played this for a while. Dun, dun. All right, just get back in. There you go. Yeah, I did actually forget your second name. So Zachary Daly. So yeah, happy birthday for the last time. Uh, where is the flag anyway? I don't even see it anymore. Are oh, there? That looks tiny. Yeah, I think on this one the flag should be different. Or does it just do it while you're loaded? I just want to check that and then I'll get to deploying. Also, I've parked this the right way. The plug's there. I'm going to plug this in and see if it works. So, Although, we won't really know. I don't think. Anyway, let me just plant this flag should be the Union Jack with Infidel Gaming because I couldn't think of anything original. Yay, cool. I don't know. War Factory. I can't be bothered to write on it right now. But from this side it should read. Yay, there we go. Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to get him back in. Actually, let's plug this. Uh, I need to get him in first to unravel one. Nah, sod it, I'll plug him in soon. Let me send up the second bit. I probably spent too long talking here as well, but... I'll just have to edit this. Although, you'll be hearing this after I've edited it, so... <laughs> whatever. 
Right, so we're done for here for now. I'm going to go launch the ore smelter, I guess, or the rocket parts. We'll get the rocket part over because that's quick and easy, and I'll just plug them to in just to see if they actually connect. So, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so just a quick bit of post commentary. Um, got that landed, twiddled round, and everything. I was a bit close. So, yeah, I'm just going to plug these guys in now to see if it works. So, there's one plugged in, and then just go grab the other. Um, it does work, though, so it's all good. The plugs work, and you'll see in a sec that they're all connected in one all the pods and you see all the kerbals in the bottom right there we go and then I just ditch these two engines that we don't need just to keep the part count down and then a little bit of back to in-game commentary okay guys so that all plugged in works fine nicey nicey uh, I think we need to change some of these light bulbs from up here they're flickering <laughs> but I'm a little worried this has a scanner on it and it's not beeping and as you can see we're just to the right I think of the ore and the caffeine so I'm a little worried hopefully if I put the although I guess I could leave these here and put the smelter and the mining just a bit away I guess on the actual ore and then just have a little transfer of um, metal that's all I need to add to this is metal so I guess I can have a metal container here plugged in 
metal and fuel container. Yeah, that would probably be better actually, because then I don't have to lag out so much, because it got a little... Well, it's getting a little bit laggy here, so... Obviously with more parts and stuff, it's going to get pretty bad. Obviously I can speed up the gameplay so it looks better for you, but I really don't like playing it when it's a bit choppy. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just plonk down a really simple metal and ore storage facility, plug it in, and then we'll have the mining operation like one kilometre away in the ore. And I need to put laser system back anyway for when we have the wars. But yeah, I can do the render distance to 900 metres then to keep the game all smooth. So I really need a toilet and that's the end of the episode. So thanks for watching. Next episode we'll get it all operational. But I'm glad the plug-in system works with the Kerbal Attachment system. It's pretty cool. It's like our generator here and then plugged in. And they should have a 5 meter. Yeah, I put 5 meter like a leash so it's green so when we load it up it doesn't like start going crazy so that's all good bit of a shame we're not on it but in a way it's kind of good as well because it means I can set up the mining facility just the way I think it's this side here I think it's just this corner where the ore is although I'm not sure it could be this side I don't know Either way, that's 200 metres, so... Yeah, we're going to have to go a little way. Maybe on the hill. But hopefully it's this side, then I can put the mine in on this corner. And then have a transport. Maybe just a vehicle going back and forth. Alright, so thanks for watching. And this is going to be pretty cool when it's up and running. And then we can just launch all our buildings and vehicles from here. And colonise this bad boy again. And then we'll head to Juno and... Life and everywhere else. So, I'll see you next episode. Bye.